I very much welcome this conference on unemployment and on what can be done to get growth back into Europe. Uh, I think it's timely and I think it's well organised and the Commission's proposals for an employment package are definitely going in the right direction. I'm one of those who thinks that the austerity measures which have been imposed uh, by many governments throughout Europe are inhibiting growth, not generating it. And so measures which can put the focus more on growth, less on austerity, more on getting young people, who are the main losers from austerity, into training or into jobs are very, very important. So I want to see uh, these proposals developed, uh, represent very much uh, the step in the right direction, but they do need development and they do need to take into account other factors. Other factors like uh, an increase in real wages. One of our problems in Europe is demand is too low. We need to put some money into people's pockets. They can spend and get economic activity uh, running forward again. We need to, I think, to use subsidies from time to time to try and uh, both keep jobs as we did in the recession in 2008-9 and also perhaps to generate some jobs and that might mean that we're not quite so free trade oriented in Europe as we've been in the past. And I think too it's important that the social partners are brought in right to the centre of what's going on. The countries that handle the adjustments the best in Europe are clearly those with the most social cohesion, those who can work together, those who can make deals with each other. Deals, by the way, where the, those with the broadest shoulders carry the heaviest burdens. The rich face up to their responsibilities and don't shoot off to the nearest tax haven. That's an important part of Europe's future. I hope the conference goes very well and addresses all these important issues.